All right, you're listening to the most interactive radio show in America, Anthony. Oh, yes. Our listeners are a huge part of this goddamn radio show. These guys are going to get us fired one day, but... What the hell will go for broke? 212-757-1027. A lot of people checking out the damage to the uh, the WOW van, Anthony. Yeah. If you weren't listening to the whole show yesterday, Spaz went to the WOW sticker stop. Yeah. And, uh, well, he crashed the van in front of, a, a, I don't know, three, four, maybe 500 listeners. Yeah, he hit a cement uh, pillar that was in front of the place. He was trying to back up onto a sidewalk or something. What, what a tool. <laughs> and he, he like... Didn't he go was up? trying to get over the curb, so it's like... No, didn't he go up a handicap ramp, and it wasn't, it wasn't wide enough, yeah, so but the only, wheel went poof. Only one of his wheels were able to fit on the handicap ramp. The other one was on the curb. So he had to, uh, he had to gas it. But as he's gassing it, he's like got the wheels cut. So when it finally pops over the curb, it, it goes off to the right and smacks into the, uh, the uh, cement pole. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we went down in the, into the garage... <laughs> and we finally got pictures of the damage. I'm looking over and, here. And you can check them out at WNAW.com. Just go to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> and uh, your comments right off the bat. Uh, when he says it was nothing, no, this isn't nothing. Yeah, it's not told. I mean, obviously. Uh, but this is something that you would really be upset about if it was your car and it didn't have, it wasn't beat up, it had just been painted. And you come home and see this on it, yeah. you would freak the f out. Oh yeah, look at the mirror. The All I know, <laughs> dude. When I got, remember when I got my Cougar, like uh, I don't know, that three, years four ago. years ago. Sure. And I had just gotten it. It was brand new, first new car I ever owned in my life. So psyched to have it. It was black, beautiful. I park it at a rest stop to run in and take a leak and get a soda. I come out, someone had opened their door and put a ding right in the door. I swear, if I would have known who that was, you I would have them. killed the person. For a ding in the door, I would have killed the person. Now, a fast forward to Spaz doing this to the, uh, the van, which had just been painted, doesn't have body damage, and uh, he says it's nothing. Now, if, if a ding on the door set me off, imagine if I saw this kind of damage on my vehicle. Yeah. I'm just trying to show you how, how like really bad this is we have uh, mike from the garage in the studio he's a good friend of ours yeah we see him every day <laughs> and mike was uh telling everyone around here that spaz is a complete tool <laughs> yeah man he's crazy he's so yeah crazy. he can't drive no because when he came to pick up the vehicle he's holding his head down yeah I was saying, man, this guy looks like a sick guy. <laughs> you know, he, his head's you know, all down. I was going to ask him for his driver's license. I swear, <laughs> man. Because you see, I mean, yeah, because he looks so nervous, you know. Was, you see, like he's ready to steal yeah. it or something. <laughs> you see all the guys go down into the garage to get the van yeah, and stuff. Like Earl, and, Earl and I used to see Psycho Ben. Mark. And Ben and yeah. Psycho Mark. Yeah. And they're all relatively uh -huh. normal, yeah. right? And you never yeah, thought. But this guy was... <laughs> You know, he's holding his head down. I was like, man, I'm not going to give the vehicle to this guy. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Ah, here he is. All right, Spaz. Is hey, Spaz. Spaz, you are out of your mind. I got to say it. Have you, did you see the damage to the, the van? Yeah. And you say it's nothing. It's a paint job. It is. It's okay, okay. Job. First, now, now before you well, say anything, we have pictures. Come here. Look at this picture. <laughs> Do you see that this is actually dented? It's not. That's Whoa. dented. I went down. I went down last night and looked at this van. What are you going to go to the hobby store and get some matte black that you paint your SD's model rockets with and just go over it? How are you going to paint that? A paintbrush. Look, it's dented right here, right by where the seam of the door mm -hmm. uh, meets, and on the other side, and over here. I went down and looked, and you tried slapping a sticker over it last night. I went downstairs to look at it, and I'm like, where's the script? Oh, look, look. He put a sticker over it. Yeah. Good as new. Now, now, let's back up. How, what <laughs> happened yesterday? Well, I, I got there fine. I, I drove the van perfect there. Oh, no, perfect. No, you guys didn't even see me driving. So how, how can you make any uh, comments I, on it? Because I've no, heard. No, but not, you didn't, yesterday you were not with me in the van, so you can't make any comments. I drove perfect there. And then I get there, and Big Kev says, you know what? I think it would be better if you parked up on the curb in front of GameStop. So he started directing me in, on the curb, and uh, I just didn't cut the wheel right. Didn't cut the wheel right. <laughs> You're backing up the curb. No, I, I didn't back up. I was doing forward. You were going forward, oh, and you hit this? Yeah. Didn't you see it right next to you? 
It was on my blind side. Blind side? It hit the mirror. How is the mirror your blind side? I'm stunned by... It hit the mirror. That's got to be the part of the vehicle that you see the most. The mirror. Other, no. other people hit, hit your mirror. You don't hit your own mirror. It hit the back of the mirror, not the front of the mirror. It doesn't oh, matter. It's, it's, a pole. Pole. No, it's, it's a pole in front of your truck. It went like this. Yeah, Split. that's the front of the mirror. No, it hit the back of the mirror and put to push the mirror to... No, the how to is the... that your blind spot if it hit the mirror? Anything that hit the mirror would be in plain view of you in the driver's seat. I, I had my sunglasses on and I wasn't looking. Look, I think he was going forward. <laughs> I was going forward. You were going, yeah, forward, going forward. So you, yeah. you had to have so your... Bad. Yeah, so so somebody, bad. Somebody said punch, punch the gas because I wasn't making it over the curb, so I punched the gas. Punch the gas. Thank God someone didn't say run over some pedestrians. <laughs> some I heard somebody say I, punch I'm the gas. I'm here to take his job. Hey, you got to give me his job. Yeah, you can take you it. No problem. So, so you have yeah. a lot of experience driving yeah, cars yeah, in tight know, areas yeah, around mm -hmm. cement poles. Mm -hmm. Have you ever smacked into anything down there? No, See? Look at that. Imagine spaz. Imagine Spaz working in the parking garage downstairs. Oh, forget oh, it. Oh, People would be like, what is this? I, I didn't know it was my place, but I came around the corner. I was fucking... I'm so, so, oh, sorry, baby. So, what, Spaz, wants to, Spaz wants to bring in paint and, and paint the damage. I, I'd paint it and it'd be good as new. It would you can't not. Get, what about the dents? How are you there gonna, is no dents. It's dented. I is, saw it last night. How do you know they weren't there before I got the van? Oh, no, and no, cleverly no, no, right fine. under where the uh, new abrasions are. Yeah, that fine was in good shape. All man. right, if you're going to play that game, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Rod, Spaz. Rod, Rod, Yo. What, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? You got a, you got a tape of the crash? Yeah, we mailed, me and my brother were there. We had a camcorder, and we mailed the tape in today. You, can, you, you saw the whole crash? No, we saw it from when he pulled up yeah. onto the sidewalk. Yeah. Now, number one, he pulled up onto the sidewalk on a strip ball. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how he fit the van. There's about three feet of roof. Why did he just leave it in front of the sidewalk? The, because Big, the sidewalk. Big Kev told me that it's got to be in front of GameStop. So I, I, so I did what he said. Literally, he was almost through the window. <laughs> he was almost through the window. You're like, you're like one of those old ladies driving. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. hilarious. I stopped your so, time. Anyway, uh, yeah. so we had the camera out, and he's like bent over, and it's like his butt in the camera's face. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking at the thing like, wow, well, what do I do? <laughs> and I, I mean, I've been listening to the show, and I always thought it was like partially an act. And I'm like, wow. no, it's real. <laughs> it's real. It's mad. <laughs> and you can hear me laughing in the background. It is so great. I can't wait to see the video, you guys. Spaz, can I yeah, ask and, you something? And it's not just a little scratch, and he tries to open the door, and a piece of molding falls off. <laughs> All right, right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Spaz, I can't wait can to I, see that day. I, I got to ask Spaz something. If you could come back here to Exhibit A, the photographs on the uh, NEW website. See, uh, right here and here, I see. Now, this is the plastic door molding that keeps uh, doors from dinging you in the parking lot. A lot of the SUVs and vans have them now. Uh, see that? That can't be painted. But I want to know how, if you hit the mirror, the door, and this, right in this area, how did the the running board back here get damaged? Yeah, that, that's almost impossible. <laughs> I guess did you roll over a cliff? And over here, the part of the door, they didn't get that either. There's more damage over here. How did, if, if it happened right here, yeah. how did it get damaged back here? Well, like, as soon as I, I felt the bump... Yeah. As soon as I felt the bump, I just cut the wheel the other way, and it moved forward just a little bit more. <laughs> but what would so you felt the bump, you cut the wheel so it wouldn't hit where it had already just hit, yeah, and then you get, kept going forward, <laughs> and it hit further back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Uh, Scott Colombo's in the studio. He does all the fine um, Internet stuff for us for the NAW website. He, you saw Spaz leave the garage yesterday? Uh, yeah, I saw Spaz leave the garage yesterday. He was... Uh, flying out of the garage <laughs> and just almost slammed into the uh, person in front of him when he realized that people were stopped oh in front of him. Whoa, this is dangerous. Yeah, we, we ought to give him one of those driving tests like they gave uh, Marsha Brady Marcia and Brady, Greg Brady. Brady. Yeah. You know, with the cones and stuff. It's not a bad I idea. That. You sound like a really bad driver. I'm a good driver. I drive Erica's car all the time. Rain, Rain Man, oh. you are a bad driver. <laughs> how many? a bad driver. How many style of driving. <laughs> own style. Yeah, the Gonzo style. style. Yeah, the Gonzo style. I drove with this idiot out to the, out to, uh, the Coliseum last month. Yeah. Nassau Coliseum for the WWF. I swear to God, we're on the expressway. As Scott says, even though people are slowing down in front of us, he will hit the gas 
and come up right up to their ass and then slam on the brakes. Oh, he's one of those. Guys. I hate that. And right? you're sitting there, you're sitting there with your feet on the floor, boy. Like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. And, that's, and, and, and then changing lanes. Not only does he only do 50 miles an hour, but he changes lanes like he's going through the cones. Oh my god. Whoa. And he's just like he's looking back, and all of a sudden the jerk motion happens, and oh, he's in the other lane. <laughs> yeah. Spaz, he's how crazy, bad man. is uh, Erica's car dinged up? Not at all. Bull. You have no it scratches. It is not dinged up at all. And I drove a U-Haul truck, mind you. Ooh. Ooh. Probably another I'm U-Haul good. out there with the top ripped back. <laughs> All right, uh, Adam, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Look at him. He got the handle broken. He got the mirror, the gas. How can he get the gas broken? <laughs> <laughs> he wrecked everything. Oh uh, the whole God. side of this van is, like, scratched up. It had a brand new paint job. Look at the rest of that van. It's I, beautiful. I see this. I'm blowing up the pictures. Look what he did. Man. You can see. You can see the lights from the garage shining yep. in that black paint because yeah, it had under, just been painted. Oh, see, I think it's all has to do with your commute, Spaz. You're tired. It's taking Maybe three that's and a half it. hours to get to work. Three and, and a half hilarious. hours he commutes to get into work. Can you believe that? So who's gonna pay for this damage? Uh, it's got to come out of Spaz's pay. Okay. I believe he's now over the fifty thousand dollar in debt mark. Uh, Dave, what's going on? I'm, I'm a good driver. Dave's going to tell I'm us. I'm a good driver. Dave's going to tell us how much uh, the damage is going to cost. All right, Dave. What do you do for a living? Dave. Hey, Dave. We finally. Are you Dave or? <laughs> Dave. Uh, I hear something in the background. <laughs> you, man. You go. Hello. Yeah, you. Yeah. You're like twelve. Yeah, I know. Jim. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go to Jim. Well, Jim, Jim, you're next on any Jim's a body shop guy. Hello? You work at a body shop? Yeah, I work at a body shop. So do me a favor. Keep Spaz driving these vans. We're, we're slow right now. I could use the business. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Did you get to see the pictures? No, I haven't seen the pictures yet. Uh, uh, I, I got a... We need a professional to check out the pictures and, and uh, give us a call. Give us a little estimate. Give us All an right, estimate. I'll, I'll check them out and I'll, I'll give you an estimate. All right. Thank you. All right. Ha ha have the bosses piped in yet over this... Uh... Crash? Uh, not yet. They probably will when they see the pictures. <laughs> and Spaz, why are you getting so pissed? Yeah, well, yeah you're very defensive it's, on this, it's like just, it's nothing. The pictures make it worse than it really is. <laughs> no, 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 the pictures don't show yeah, really no, how bad right. it is. The pictures don't do this justice, I gotta say. Don't you understand this is not a van that was just painted? That's a dent right there next to the door. It's dented. But I, that was not, I didn't do that dent. Yes, I, I you just did. Scraped, I just scraped the wall. But scraping, putting pressure on metal will dent it. What? That dent wasn't on the van yesterday when I gave it to him. That's yeah. dented. Yeah, Mike works in the garage. Mm -hmm. He knows the, the shape of the mm -hmm. van. The mirror got it worse. Yeah, well, the mirror got it worse. Yeah, sure. Uh, but the sides dented. And then look at the, the running board. How are you going to fix that? It's gouged. There is yeah. material removed from it. They're going to have to get a There's whole... There's no painting it. Yeah, they're going to have to get a whole new piece for that. We could just cover it with a... In, like, no, man. It's, more... it's our show. We want a, a nice-looking van. Put what? Out there. How, and look, there's a piece of a sticker over there that they tried to cover up <laughs> yeah. the running board. Uh, Big Kev, who was there. Oh. Big, Big Kev, did you see the crash yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. Kevin, Spaz is almost blaming this on you. I, I know. That's why I had to call in, because uh, I, I, I can't take the blame for this one. I, I'd like to back up a few paces, if you wouldn't mind. When Spaz arrived, there were no parking spaces at the strip mall. And so what I said was, uh, last week when Jeff Norris and I were doing the sticker stop, we put the uh, truck right on the extra-wide sidewalk in front of the store next to the sticker stop, which is unoccupied at this time. And then uh, I said, now listen to me and follow what I'm saying, and everything will be fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get to the let, let me. All right, well, here's a couple of facts nice that you might have missed. One, someone did not yell out, hit the gas. Someone yelled out, Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> Punch it, Chewy. And that's when Spaz, perhaps one might say, over enthusiastically hit the gas, which launched the car into uh, the truck, the van, into the pillar. That was the first hit. Yeah, now, now how did the we have to get Spaz off of the pillar. So I say to Spaz, <laughs> put it in reverse. Right. Spaz puts it in reverse. And cuts the wheel the wrong way, the wrong yeah, way towards the pillar, right? And that's when perhaps a little uh, other scraping damage oh, might have my occurred. Dear sweet God, can you believe?
Dave. That's not an experienced driver. No, you're yeah, right. See? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, like it happens every day. You go in between two pillars that are three feet apart. Well, then, you know something? If you are doing it and it doesn't happen every day, wouldn't you be so extra careful that it, nothing would happen? Or you, or you wouldn't try it. You just say, you right. know what? I can't do that. I'm, I'm just parking it right here. What did it matter? You didn't need to be right in front of the place. The whole parking lot was packed with our listeners. I got I got to hear from a body shop guy <laughs> because I swear this lo the running board would have to be replaced to get this thing in the condition that it was before this happened. The running board has to be replaced. Yeah. There's no way to remold a piece of the running board. It's it's like a plastic thing and there's a gouge taken out of it. The side view mirror would have to be replaced. Side view mirror three, replaced. Uh, that dent would have to be taken out and three panels would have to be painted. Right. It's got to yeah. be at least two grand. And you yeah. don't just paint the damaged area after you get the dent out. You have to paint an entire area around it to blend it in properly. Well, what about the dent on the uh, driver's side? That wasn't my fault. There's a dent there. How come nobody got in trouble about that one? Where's the dent on the driver's side? Nobody took a picture of that one. There's a dent on the driver's side. <laughs> when did you do that, Spass? I didn't do that. That was there when I got it. <laughs> You're going to have to take the blame for all the dents. Lewis. Oh, God, I can't believe this oh, this no. dumb douchebag. <laughs> hey, 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 Spazzy Wonder. Did you have your dark glasses on, Spazzy Wonder, when you were driving the vehicle? Did you have your seeing eye dog running in front of the vehicle <laughs> telling you where to drive? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? He was wearing dark glasses. Uh, 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 paper, uh, paper, uh, is that a handicapped lady standing there? Oh, uh, no, with it, I'll back up. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, what about the dent on the other side? Where I slammed my head after I realized what I did. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you're killing me. This guy can't. This can't be real. There's nobody this funny in real life. <laughs> Lewis, the funny thing is, we all had a, a huge meeting before we decided to let Spaz go to the Wow Sticker Stop. Uh huh. Huge meeting, like you think it'll be okay, you think you'll get there, you think you'll you know, not get lost. And at what point did you smoke enough reefer to say, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I swear. Well, the guy who got people piss on his head, yeah, let him drive the vehicle. It's just like the Brady Bunch episode where uh, Greg was going to work for his father, oh God. taking Stevie the blueprints. Stevie Wonder could drive better than he does. <laughs> and he screwed fact, it up. In fact, maybe you should have Stevie Wonder do the next sticker stop. <laughs> hey, Spaz, look how you drive the vehicle, Spaz. Uh, Stevie, how do you do it? Never watch him. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Point. What hey, happened there? Should... Hold, Hold on, Lois. Go There's ahead, nothing Spaz. to do with driving. I got there fine. I got there at 4.30 exactly, which is more than Earl can do. And second of all, nobody... It, it, every Spaz, day... everyone gets to the point where they have the accident. Right. But, everyone gets there. But it's, it's not like, whoa, thank God I didn't get to the accident. Right. Yeah, I, I got there. Yeah. You got there but, to the accident. But what happened was not a normal driving thing. Don't People don't normally drive through two pillars every day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Only because I, I was following somebody's advice. <laughs> it's bad, bad. Pay attention, Spaz. Every night I park my car in a garage in my building. There is about a foot of space combined between both sides of my car, which means with the mirrors, there's maybe three, four inches on each side. Spaz, I've been driving for 15 years. If you blindfolded me and stuck a pipe up my ass, I can park the vehicle better than you do, you dumb dickweed. Figure out how to park a vehicle, dickweed. Oh, you think, oh my hair was all pussy. I was distracted. God damn it. Guys, you're killing me. Uh, you're killing me, man. Nothing could be this funny in real life. Hey, hey. Hey, Spaz, maybe you should have put Spaz at the site of the explosion yesterday. Then his puffy hair could have absorbed the radiation. Oh, my, hey, baby, baby, my hair was puffy. I couldn't drive. I'm sorry. Now I know why. By the way, now I know why that dickweed takes the train every day. Baby won't trust him with the freaking car. Maybe that's why. Handicapped people three feet tall could drive better than you, dickweed. All right, Lewis. Oh, God. Thank you. Thanks, hey, somebody man. shoot him now so he won't procreate and there won't be little spazzies running around. No, it's, no, it sucks. <laughs> Lewis is hilarious, but Spaz refuses to put him through on the show. I know. Because he calls every day to abuse Spaz. Oh, yeah? 
and mm-hmm. Spaz hangs up on him. The only the, the only time we get him on the air is when Spaz is in here and someone else is screening the call. <laughs> uh, Bob from Jersey, Anthony. Yeah. Let me get this straight. You let the guy you call Spaz, who believes in cancerous live wires, giant mosquitoes, as well as the famous Cancer World Series conspiracy theory, <laughs> drive the van, and you're surprised at what happened. <laughs> Uh, hey, ONA, just saw the damage uh, to the van. I work for a dealership that has a body shop. Guess what? That running board alone, he looked it up, will cost you at least three grand to replace. Whoa. It's a Holy piece of plastic. Yeah, well, uh, w- so? It's got to be specially made. <laughs> that running board runs the entire length between the wheels. And it's got it's sectioned off like an end section, middle, front. Or this guy, and, and to replace it, never this, three grand. It costs you a lot of money, guys. Yeah. Uh, this guy, Anthony. Yes. You took pictures of the van at the sticker stock? Yes, I was there. I spoke to Kevin. I walked up, and he saw my shirt. I'm a damage appraiser for an insurance company. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. So give us the estimate. Well, I'm faxing it to you right now as okay. we speak. Oh, I wrote it go up. Go get it. Go get it. Okay. Let me see. I'm, I'm putting it through right now. And, uh, yeah, he pulled me aside. He said, you're an appraiser. And uh, I actually took, the- <laughs> I took a couple of pictures. And, uh, hey, listen, that wow really works. I mean, uh, until the cops showed up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it was pretty cool. I'm sending it over right now. Do you have the fax machine there? Uh, hold on the line. We'll take a break, and we'll uh, we'll get your estimate on the radio next. Cool. How's that? Hold on. Sounds good. Opie, uh, one of the TWA Flight 800 investigators checking in, wants to know if Spaz can come down with some red and white paint to fix the crash damage. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. All right, Ed, want to take a quick break? Uh, yeah, then we'll get the estimate and see what the deal is. And we'll move on. Stay All there. Right. All right, that's not funny. All right, well, you didn't hear that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Wait, I got to hear this again. I thought NEW was powered by Opie and Anthony, Anthony. Listen what they put together. Powered by Insert new show here. <laughs> by Infinity Broadcasting. Easy. Wow. Easy. Anyway, Anthony. Mm. You're listening to the most interactive uh, radio show in America. Yeah, a lot of people... Uh, Going over the pictures of the uh, WNEW Wow, Opie and Anthony Wow van that was damaged at the Wow sticker stop yesterday. Very damaged. Yeah, damaged by Spaz uh-huh. as he tried to circumnavigate <laughs> the parking lot <laughs> of a sticker stop yesterday. Huge parking lot, one pole, Spaz found the pole. Yeah, hit a big <laughs> cement pillar that just scraped the hell out of it and dented it and ruin the the running board and then he backs up and does more damage does more damage he's trying to get away from the pole well this uh, guy uh, well sent... let's, yeah let's get anthony back on the line yeah uh anthony's uh faxed in an estimate anthony what do you do for a living again i'm a damage appraiser for an insurance company and you just happened to be at the wow sticker stop you took some pictures and you uh estimated the damage right well i heard about it and i said i got to see this All so right. i ran up and uh they pulled actually they pulled me in because they saw my shirt and it said damage appraiser on it, so I kind of got right up to the front, got my stickers, and they said, well, what do you think? And uh, Spaz was putting stickers over it, so I'm lucky enough to get pictures before he did that. Oh. But did you get my estimate? Yeah, now uh, on the bottom it says uh, add in replacement running board. Uh, yeah, that's a two-piece running board. Okay. Um, there's a small section in the front, and then the longer section goes across the, the uh, whole length of the vehicle. Mm-hmm. That's why it's uh, it's only a hundred and uh, what was it, fifty-two dollars. So it's oh, a two-piece okay. running board. All but right. you are right; they can't be repaired. They have to be replaced. Okay. So the uh, the total damage done to the van. Net total. What is it? One thousand fifty-seven dollars and fifty-seven cents. <laughs> there you go, Spaz. And you think you can just get some paint and and everything will be okay? Forty bucks paint. You're gonna paint it yourself as punishment. Spaz, you can't just paint how, it. How it's not a it? wicked fence. How, how, let's ask him. How, how do you paint yeah. a car? Give That's us the damage. whole way, the, the whole procedure to painting the van. Yeah, yeah, it has to be repaired properly, or else it'll just it'll look terrible. Yeah. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Give me the entire thing. What would you do? From start to finish. Okay. Well, you see, because you have the the letters, uh, you know, wow, paint on things. So what you would do is you put a a piece of tape to, uh, so you have your line, so you don't paint over the, uh, you know, so you have. All right, we understand. That's the first thing you would do. We lay down the paint. No, I'm talking about you, you, you walk up to the van. Yeah. What do you have with you? I have my paintbrush. Paintbrush? Uh, Opie, a paintbrush. Okay, you have a paintbrush, and what else? A uh, paint. Okay, and, and where, 
Where are you getting the paint? Um, probably at like a, a local hardware store. A local <laughs> hardware store. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and you have uh, the paint, the paintbrush, and what else? And a roll of tape. A roll of tape. Yes. Now, what do you, what's the first thing you do? I lay down the tape so okay. I get everything all lined up. You lay down the tape to 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 what? To, 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 to make sure that there's a straight line still. Huckleberry Spaz. A straight line for what? <laughs> a straight so so like you know how like you you make a block letters so I I don't go over the letters you know just lay. You wait I, screw all that. Okay. I can't get past the. You honestly think you could just paint it with a paintbrush? A paintbrush. You can't be that healthy. stupid. Hey guys, it, do you think that's what they do at the the the, the body shops? You guys, said that I'm just painted. Uh, you yes. better yeah. add another five hundred to undo everything he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> we love it when they when people try to fix them themselves yeah. first. Despaz it. Oh man! You don't paint cars with a paintbrush. With a paintbrush. That's so a the first thing you do is start taping over what the dirt and uh, the abrasive that is still on the dent. That's what you do? No, no, I, I tape over... The, How are you going to get the dent out before you paint it with the paintbrush? Well, if there is a dent, you can just take a little hammer and bang it on the other side. On the, other How are you going to get to the other side of that? Spaz but a few goes body shot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And there's people in their cars like, this can't be real. Trust me. I swear to God. It it's as real as it gets. 500 people saw it for themselves yesterday. Oh, my God. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci checking in. I, I wish I was still alive to get some painting pointers from Spaz. <laughs> Spaz is going to be like, all right, it's it's our van. We can do whatever we want with it. Let's get a little lizard crimson right here. We're going to put a happy little tree over this big dent. There we go. Maybe a little waterfall. All right, so Anthony, you're you're saying a thousand fifty six bucks to get the van fixed. Yes, in that at least, and then you have to send it out to be re uh, striped and lettered with all your logos on it. That's, right. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to cost. Oh. So you could probably add another two to three hundred on that once you uh, sublet out the striping. <laughs> Someone uh, recommending spaz maybe uh, crayons. You could just get a <laughs> box of Crayola with the black crayon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anthony, I guess we're going to let you go for now. Okay, thanks. I, it feels good to contribute. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, syndication when Opie bangs Patty. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. If that's what it takes, I think we're going to be uh, a, a one-station show. <laughs> All right, man. Later on, man. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. So you get a paintbrush, and you, you start slopping paint on it. Yeah, of course, but staying in the line. Ah, well, staying in the line, Opie. Yes, of course. With Anthony. black paint that you just pick up at a hardware store. Do you know how many different types of black there are for cars? What if and, the blacks and, don't match up? And, and you know something? You're not going to find an automotive black paint at a hardware store, and it cannot be applied with a paintbrush, and it has to be... But oh a spray gun. God. Oh, my God. A spray gun? You're, you're on to something there. Terry, what's up? Hey, how you doing? All right. Um, I blew up the picture on the on the net and I made it into a BMP and take a look at uh, at a section underneath the wheel well the damage goes below the skin there that's all the way into the wheel well you're looking at a lot more damage than that oh yeah take a look at it if you if you manipulate a little bit and blow that section up that whole area there is buckled into it so you that can... whole fender piece has to be replaced not yeah, just the skin you could see kind of where the door uh, meets the front fender right exactly in there why do you guys vented. keep this idiot I don't First know. he splooges on your couch. Now he ruins your van. Shoot him. I, I, it, it is truly, <laughs> truly amazing. Mac from Jersey, can of paint twenty five dollars. Okay, guys. All right, uh, uh, Mac from Jersey, can of paint twenty five dollars. Roll of tape five dollars. Paintbrush three dollars. Listening to Spaz explain, priceless. Uh, the next time you let Spaz drive the van, make sure to install a second brake on the passenger side, like a driver's ed vehicle, and slap a big yellow student driver sign on the back. You're so stupid. <laughs> oh boy! Why, well, why don't we get Spaz to get a can of paint and try to fix the damage, Anthony? Oh, that would be really funny. What do you think? Why haven't we heard from the bosses? Will Pip, yeah. will Pip talk to us about this? I'd really like to know. Uh, I, I I am so amazed that you think you could just paint it with a paintbrush. And then that would be the first thing you would do. You wouldn't clean the area off? What is there to clean? Just look at it. Someone's what is there to clean? When you paint something, it has to be totally spotless clean. You go over it with a, uh, like a 
certain type of alcohol to get any road grime and oil off of it, or else the paint just chips away. Mike, what's going on? Hey, what's oh. up, boys? Hey. I'm a cop out here on the island. Spaz has 10 days to report this accident to motor vehicle. Is that true? Yeah, if the damage is over a thousand bucks, he's got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your insurance is going up, pal. My insurance? Yeah. What, car insurance? <laughs> yeah. I don't have car insurance. You're an idiot. Uh, you don't uh, have car insurance? I'm not insured. I just have a driver's license. I don't have a car. Uh, I use, I use uh, my girlfriend's. Uh, I, I well, you got to be insured to drive that vehicle. Just because she's insured and you're driving her car doesn't mean you're covered. Oh, it's under his insur under well, it's her gonna insurance. Be, no, it's going to be under the station's insurance. Yeah, the station's well, we know insurance that. will go off. We know that, but I, I'm curious. When about... he drives Baba's car, it's under her insurance. Right. Yeah. So if he screws up, her insurance goes up. But I never had with her car. Well, of course not. Now, um, Jeremy's in the studio. Jeremy, have you seen any of the uh, damage? I've not yet seen all of the well, evidence. Right. Perhaps you could take a look at... Uh, some of the pictures. Uh, look, first, we get a little overview of the van. Look at that beautiful van. Here, here, uh, here, the the mirror. Back here, there's some more damage here. Um, and he seems to think it's nothing. And he's going to go to the hardware store, get some black paint and, and a, a brush, brush. And, and just paint it up. Yeah, how about a Sharpie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or some black tape to sort of put it right over there. We have an estimate that just came in uh, from a guy that was on the scene. Uh, the damage, and this is real, $1,057 worth of damage <laughs> to the brand new painted Wow Van. Wow van. Oh. So uh, we're just wondering... What's you know, the protocol? Well, yeah, well, how does this get taken care of? Do you fire him or do we? <laughs> <laughs> Who pays for to get it done? Because we can't have a piece of crap looking van. Normally, I suppose whoever did something like that would put it on their credit card. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's that's just about one thousand fifty three dollars more than he has on the card. How much credit you got on your card left? Four dollars thirty six cents. <laughs> Pretty much. That'll cover the paintbrush. Four dollars thirty six cents. How much was your credit line? Five thousand five hundred. What do you have to show for it? Uh, boots that you can't walk in. Uh, my new home. Your new home. It's not a home. You're renting. You're renting. Renting. So what do you have to show for it? Nothing. Yeah. Rent. Rent. You paid rent. Uh, Rick, line you paid rent with your credit card? All 3600 The first month, uh, the security. security and last do you know whatever. you're paying 19% interest on your rent? And that was a cash advantage I take back. Yeah. Oh, but oh, then you're talking probably God. closer to 24% oh. interest. On, you will be paying off your first and last month's security. By the time you pay that off, you you could have uh, lived in Trump Towers. Right. <laughs> the St. <Saint> Regis. St. <laughs> Regis. The butler uh, uh, ironing your heavy metal shirt. Yeah. Unbelievable, Spaz. Uh, Jumbo. Yeah. What's up? How you doing, fellas? Great. Listen, why don't you save yourself some time and have all your future sticker stops at the body shops? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. You know, they could just repair the damage as it happens. Yeah, you kill two birds with one stone, you know? That's funny. Thank Sy you. Syndication never, y'all. Ah, uh, y'all. <laughs> Rock, let's go to Brian. Brian, you're next on NEW. I can't believe this idiot. He sounds like Spicoli in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I could fix it. I, 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 got, I got a real awesome tool set, baby. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I didn't know I was going to hit it. The pole was eons away. Uh, which way did he go, George? Because he's stupid. Yes, he is. Someone she says we should paint uh, little numbers on the van first before Spaz paints it. That'll be more his speed. <laughs> All right, Brian. Oh, later. People want to know if the Invisible Man was injured in the crash. <laughs> no, he he was fine. A little whiplash. Uh, and Tom from Farmingdale. Yeah. Too bad Spaz wasn't there when JFK was shot. He could have put the president's head back together with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking tall. <laughs> He's going to fix it with, with a paintbrush. <laughs> All right, enough on there that, we obviously. Go. We're going to make a little lake right about here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wendy. I just had to say to Spaz, uh, definitely, definitely a good driver. Definitely. All right. Definitely a good driver. <laughs> definitely a good driver. All right, good. And, um, and maybe, maybe, um, maybe I'll wow him again. Yeah. All right, we've got to take a break. Enough on, uh, on Spaz and his, uh, his crash. All right, the captain of uh, the Titanic calling up wants to know if Spaz has a patch kit. <laughs> 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 All right. And let's regroup. 
Two one two seven five seven one zero two seven. We'll be back in just a bit.